Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex and I'm back with another video. Today we are going to be trying out some new makeup that my mom bought that she wants me to try out for her and give her my full honest opinion and a video on how to use these products. So, uh, the package came just like this. I just want everybody to know that it came just like this, like ripped open. So, um, we are missing one product, which is the primer, not a big deal. So, Without further ado, oh, let's get on in. All right, we are going to pin my hair back. This will be the last video that I film that's summer related, which makes me sad. Summer's coming to an end. It went by so fast. We're gonna start out with for Sully, the, there it goes. The Rose Gold Mist. Just for a nice flare out. We're gonna go in with shadow shields. Now I only take off the bottom. So now we're actually gonna go in with P. Louise. This is the base. And this is actually in shade Rumor Zero. It's actually a white color. We're gonna be using this because we're gonna do more of a mermaidy eye look. So what more of an a white base so I finally had to be that person and I had to report my neighbor for her dogs yet again being off leash and coming after me and my dogs and I was walking my dogs coming close to the house and yet again here she comes outside and her dogs freaking off leash yet again and her dog came running running at mine and went after went after gus and she has a brown doodle real beautiful dog but she's told me before in the past when this has happened of course that her dog is is not dog friendly he's not dog friendly because she got him during COVID and never socialized him. So she told me that she actually walks outside of the neighborhood because of it, because a lot of people in the neighborhood have dogs. So she opts to walk her dogs away from the neighborhood, which good on her, you know, like good dog owner. She knows that her dogs don't particularly like dogs but she constantly has them off leash like she'll be on her front porch and her dogs are off leash and she knows her dogs don't like other dogs and they don't listen to commands and they just go running go running towards my dogs she had the audacity last night to blame me for walking by her house well you know my dogs don't like other dogs uh I'm sorry that my house is next to your house and I have to walk past your house to get back to my house. How am I supposed to know? Like, but yeah, she screamed at me in the street and called me lovely names, but okay, go off. Like you're 22, you live with your mom, with your baby daddy, cool. Like, but yeah, that was interesting. And I told her, I was like, I've never called animal control on you before, but you want to sit here and yell and scream at me and blame me and my dog? I don't think so, ma'am. I don't think so. So I did. I actually called animal control because I'm tired of it. And, and I've actually hired a dog trainer to help with Gus. And she even said that I needed to call animal control because these dogs behaviors are actually what is screwing with Gus and his reactivity and it's hindering his progress. So even a dog trainer. The dog trainer is like, no, this lady is nuts. Uh, the For this look today, we're gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette for this mermaidy look. We're gonna go in though with a transition shade for this. We're gonna use this shade right here. So yeah, it was it was quite interesting last night and I was pretty frustrated at the whole thing and the uh, way it went down. But I don't know if it's just this generation, the responsibility, they just wanna blame everybody else for things or I don't know what it is, but animal control has been notified. She also keeps her dogs during the day and it's hot here in Vegas. She keeps them in the garage. The door is open a little bit, but it's obnoxious because when we walk by, her dogs try to get out of the garage and come and attack my dogs. So it's just, 
it's obnoxious all around. Next, we're gonna go in with, actually, we're gonna go in with this orangey shade. We're gonna pop it down as well. As a nice transition shade. So I just get tired of stuff and I'm such a nice person that I try to just let things slide and just give people the benefit of the doubt, but it keeps biting me in the rear end. That is for sure. Especially if my dog trainer is telling me like, no, you need to report this person and her dogs because this is enough. Enough is enough. So I'm gonna add just a little shimmery underneath before I forget, highlight that beautiful brow bone. But other than that, my summer has been pretty uneventful, which is nice. Just enjoying time with friends, going out, girls trip, um, my best friend visiting, seeing little John in concert. It's been the highlight. We're gonna go in with this shade here. We're going to just like cut that chunk in my finger. Uh, we're gonna go in kind of lay it right where we laid the transition shade. Now this year I did not go on a beach vacation, which I was sad about, but you know, things come up, things happen. And yeah, I have been getting out and doing more things that are out of my comfort zone. Like a few weeks back, I went on this thing called Time Left, which is where you go to dinner. You don't know who you're gonna have dinner with and you end up having dinner with strangers. And <laughs> it sounds so creepy because you're like, when you were little, you're told, don't talk to strangers, don't talk to strangers. But here literally we went out to dinner with strangers. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. It was interesting. It was nice. I actually made great friends from it. And they don't tell you until the day of where you're no, the day before, I think they tell you where the restaurant's gonna be. There's a bunch of different groups and they all go out to dinner. They all go out and meet and different restaurants. Some are at the same restaurant, some are different. And then at the end of the night, everybody goes out to a bar, it's the same location, and you can meet other people from other groups. So it's actually a really neat concept and it's a way for people to just get out and meet. Cause it's so hard as an adult to make friends. It's so easy in school. And a lot of people at work don't like being friends with people that, you know, they, they don't mix work and friendships. So this is a way for people to, to make those connections and for people to get out of their comfort zone. Not only are you trying a new place to eat, but you're meeting new people. So now that that aqua color is put down, we're going to go in and I'm going to use what's left on the brush with that P. Louise base on it and just pack down here and I might need more actually. I'm going to get a little closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. It does not take a lot, but other than that, it's been really chill summer. Now this little trick I just did where you look up you see where your halo needs to start. What are some things that you guys did this summer? Oh, well, I got to see my parents, of course. Let's go in with this purpley shade. We're just gonna pack it down with my finger. What's so fabulous is I have to go to work tonight, so I'm gonna be wearing this. All right, now I'm gonna do this left side, but we're not gonna put any more P. Louise primer down because I just wanna show you guys the kind of color payoff that comes with using a base, even if you don't use P. Louise, even if you use a concealer of some sort, um, the color payoff. Also, NYX also makes a really good glitter. I forget what it's called, but it's like a, it's specifically for shimmers and glitters. And I need to reorder. Now, I really wanna pack in the corner that beautiful, turquoise shade, but we're gonna use a flat brush to do it. And this and underneath. I also didn't go to the water park this summer, which I was sad about because I love the water park. 
just didn't do a lot this summer and I think it's because last summer I spent so much money um, doing things for Josh and his kids, which I don't regret. I absolutely love those kids and I will always love them. And I would do things for them in a heartbeat, even now if they asked me. But I spent a lot of money doing things and I just think that because I did so much that I'm I'm kind of burnt out. <laughs> I'm very much burnt out from, from doing things. So that's why it's just been a real chill summer. And I'm gonna pack a little bit more on top with a brush, but yeah, I definitely, this palette is gonna be thrown away after this because it's just not, it's not kicking it anymore. Yeah, those kids were wonderful. I had so much fun with them. We went to, we went camping. Uh, last summer we went to water parks. We went to the aquarium. I mean, I'm telling you like those kids and I and Josh, like we did a lot of fun things. So yeah, this summer was just chill. I think I might layer some of the blue shimmer on top of this turquoise. I don't really like the way it turned out. So just kind of, and again, I think it's cause this palette is just old. Oh yeah, that's, that's nice. It's kind of giving it a little bit of a shimmery, a shimmery vibe. I think this is a better moment. And then last year I went to the beach and I loved it. I had so much fun. I love the beach. I love the beach. The beach is always a good time with me. All right, using a fluffy brush that has no color on it, we're just gonna clean things up, blend things out. It is time for brows, going in with that NYX, that brow pencil. And you know how we do, we brush these brows down below. It's funny, sometimes certain angles in the light, I have to move my head around so I can actually see where my brow is because my brows over the years have gotten much lighter and so sometimes it's very hard for me to see where exactly my brow is and they've become really sparse too. Has anybody else had that problem? And then I was thinking today, wow, I hadn't really been to, to the pool here in my community. They also did close the pool for a couple of weeks because I guess somebody damaged it or did something to it. So they did cancel. All right, now for the big reveal. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I'm not confident though, just because. Ooh. Oh my gosh, because that was just, that palette was hard to work with. All right, now to get into the Laura Geller products that my mom purchased. So this product is the Retractable Angled Kabuki Brush, and this is for both loose and pressed powders. Uh, it says slide the base down slightly to, to apply cream and push it down all the way for powders. Yes, my hands are dirty. So I guess it only wants you to like use it like this for creams and this for powders. So I guess it makes it, oh yeah, because it makes it more dense. So these are the Blending Beauties two piece brush set. This is the Laura Geller Baked Bronze. Bronze and Brighten. It's a multi-purpose bronzer. This is in the shade Fair. Now this looks like a Neapolitan ice cream. This is a baked highlighter. So this is in the shade French Vanilla. This is the, let's see. This is the color correcting foundation in the shade Fair. This is in the shade Tropical Hues, and that's actually really, really pretty. And then last but not least, this is the setting spray. So we're gonna go in with that angled kabuki going into the uh, foundation. There is a little mirror here. So let's see if we can. This is kind of reminding me of that bare minerals moment. 
Remember when Bare Minerals had such a chokehold on us? Back in the early 2000s. Can you tell the difference? I've done this side only. It still shows my freckles through, but definitely, definitely gives me some mattifying properties. And I'm just making this a little bit tighter so I can go in between here because of my eyeshadow sort of being moved around by the brush. I actually really like this. This is really nice. Now we're gonna go in with that bronzer. Now we're gonna use this brush. This is a, I think I'll like this for, ooh, that went everywhere. I was not expecting that. A lot of fallout there all over me and my desk. Okay. But we're just gonna pop it right in here. I wouldn't say this is like my favorite bronzer. It's definitely not really giving me bronzy vibes, but now we're gonna go in with that beautiful blush. I'm excited to try this bad boy out. I keep wanting to use that tiny little mirror in it. Okay, so the blush does have some shimmer in it. It's very shimmery. So like you don't even have to, you can forego the highlight, I think. But it's, I don't know, I think it's too shimmery for a blush. I actually think I was supposed to use this for the foundation. <laughs> Whoops, well I did not. Okay, but that blush is beautiful. I just am not a huge fan of the shimmer. We're gonna try the little highlighter here with little fluffy brush. I think I might be able to get away with, oh my gosh, that's like very highlightery and you wouldn't even like be able to tell because it's very light in the, in the packaging. Hmm. Just give a little highlight here. I mean, it already has plenty of shimmer because some of these products have shimmer in it. Which I don't think they should, but I digress. We're gonna put on some Fantasize One Size Mascara on the bottom lashes. And then Gus back there growling on like he pays bills or something. All right, we're gonna go in with MAC Lip Liner in the shade Whirl. Not use this bad boy in forever. It's definitely a ride or die shade for me. All right, so my mom did pick out the lipstick in shade Pink Passion. Oh, this is like a big lipstick tube. Okay, let's see how this goes. She was trying to pick a red shade and I'm like, mom, you always have red shades. Like, please get it like a neutral color. We'll see about the wear down, but let's, before we forget, spray on. Okay, it comes out as a very fine mist. Oh, it smells really good. I like it. So it's Spackle Mist Boost with Electrolytes and it provides a surge of electrolytes with like magnesium, zinc, copper to help strengthen and restore your complexion all while locking in makeup. It's also enriched with grape seed extract to sim stimulate collagen production and centella astasia extract for a burst of hydration. Oh, each spritz also gives a protective veil to blue light, uh, blue light pollution. I don't know what the science behind that is, but okay. So um, I will be back. I'm gonna brush out my hair and come back with some final thoughts. All right, my lovely little dolls. <laughs> so the makeup look, uh, I think it turned out pretty decently. It's not my favorite, uh, only because I couldn't get the blendability or the color payout because that palette is old. So it is going in the trash, y'all. Um, the foundation and all these products that I used, I really did like them. The only thing that I don't like is the blush is very shimmery. I would like more of a matte blush, but the baked blush is really nice. I do like how the foundation still allowed my freckles to come through, but yet mattified and gave it a very, a very subtle, like I'm wearing makeup, but not really kind of look. So my hair's a mess, but yeah, I will see you on the flippity flop y'all. All right, testing one, two, three. Um, dogs. Actually, I don't like that mirror. <laughs> like, I don't like that mirror at all. Ugh. I really like this. These products. Hmm.